everybody. My name is Lisa and you are watching the Stop, Drop, and Knit podcast. Today I have a special video for you. We are going to be unboxing two subscription boxes from Hooks and Needles. The Hooks and Needles boxes I have here, one is a crochet box and the other is a knitting box. It is a monthly subscription box for either or both knit or crochet. Included in each box is everything you need to make your first project. So as you can see, these are still sealed, both of them. I have not yet opened these boxes. And so we're going to do that together today and you will be getting my first reaction to these boxes. So I have no experience prior with the Hooks and Needles subscription boxes, and I am very curious to see what they sent. So let's dive in. I think that on the bottom they have labeled which is which. So this one has a C, and this one appears to have a K. So I'm going to assume that this is the knitting box and this is the crochet box. So. For those of you who are regular subscribers to my channel, you will know that I am a knitter with pretty much little to no crochet experience. So I thought it would be really fun to get the crochet box as well because my son Owen has been learning how to crochet a little bit in the recent months and it would be really helpful if, if I knew a bit and could help him along. So I am going to start by opening the crochet box and we will see and take a look at what is inside together. So I've got my scissors here. So I have no idea what is inside. Okay. Okay, so I open the box and it comes packaged like this. Inside it says, your yarnful dreams begin here. So they have included a booklet and I'm assuming that the patterns for the crochet projects are inside. And it looks like we have three balls of yarn and some extras in here. So, First things first, let's look at the yarn because that's what's most interesting to me. So this is a beautiful, beautiful teal color and it's a Tweety yarn. It's made exclusively for hooks and needles and this says made in Portugal. It is a medium weight, so I would say a worsted weight yarn. It says number four and recommended needle size is US 8 needles. This color is called Woodland Whisper, 97% merino wool and 3% viscose. So the viscose portion is going to be all of those tweety bits in there. And look at how beautiful a color that is. So I love the color teal. So this, this feels like a really nice quality, quality yarn. I've never worked with this yarn before. Again, I'm pretty sure that it is made exclusively for Hooks and Needles subscription boxes. So it has come with three of these. These are each 50 gram balls and it says that the yardage is 92 and a half yards. So just a little bit less than 300 yards total has come in the crochet box. So let's see what else is inside. They have sent darning needles. So those look really nice. I have basically one darning needle that I have been using for so many years, so I can always use more darning needles. Um, and then they have included two crochet hooks. These are US size 8, which goes right along with the yarn that they included for the project. I'm not sure why there's two crochet hooks because, I mean, I don't crochet, but I'm pretty sure that you only use one crochet hook at a time. So, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure why there's two. Maybe in case you lose one or really have no idea. But there are two. 
Um, oh, there's this cute little box. So this is very adorable, this little wooden box. So let's open it. Oh, it doesn't. I might need to have my husband. I can't open it, you guys. <laughs> I can't open it. Okay, I am not, I'm not a weak person. But, mm. okay, you guys, I can't get this open at all. It sounds like there's probably like stitch markers or something inside of here. I will try to get my husband to open it for me later um, and see if we can confirm that that is what is in here. But this, this is not budging. So yeah, this is adorable. I wish I could open it. I, I just can't open it. So, okay. So there's that. Um, and then, let's see, we have a mysterious envelope. What is inside here? Oh, okay, I was not expecting that. Is that everything? So inside here, we have two zippers. Okay, so there's two black zippers. Have no idea, I've never done a project with zippers before, so I have no idea what these are for, probably. There's not enough yarn for a sweater, so maybe like a little bag or something. And, all right, so that is everything that is in the crochet box. So I want to look inside the booklet now and see what the patterns are. Okay, so it says your cozy corner for crocheting. And so this yarn on the cover is not the same yarn that's in the box. That's okay. They probably just use the same one for all of their boxes. Uh, oh, this is a pretty, this is a pretty thick book. There's a lot of pages here. We have a table of contents, which tells us like what the projects are in here. So this is kind of like a, a miniature magazine of sorts. So it looks like the three projects are a cozy bottle holder, an urban crossbody bag, and a boho makeup pouch. So, okay, what's inside your first hooks and needles box? Woodland Whisper Yarns, 97% merino wool, 3% viscose, crochet hooks, sewing needles, stitch markers, zippers, monthly patterns and their detailed instructions. Okay, so that is exactly what I just showed you already. This would be a great time to share with you all that I have received a special discount code to receive 20% off your first knitting or crochet subscription box from Hooks and Needles. My code is stop, drop, and knit 20 and that will save you 20% on your first box only. So it says, uh, we're so excited to welcome you to the Hooks and Needles and your first monthly box. Whether you are a beginner or an advanced crocheter, there's no doubt you have found the perfect place to indulge your love for the craft. Each month, you'll receive one-of-a-kind projects luxurious yarns and essential craft supplies designed to inspire you and help you grow in your crocheting journey. And what's best, you can choose from three projects, a beginner friendly option for those just starting out, an intermediate challenge for crafters looking to expand their skills, and an advanced project for seasoned crocheters. Think of cozy hats, cute pot holders, fluffy mittens, and stylish headbands, all created by your own hands with love and care. Our carefully curated boxes are designed to spark your creativity and encourage you to explore new techniques, textures, and styles. But before diving into this month's project, let us properly introduce Hooks and Needles. Welcome. And then it just goes to show you like what is inside your first box, which is what I have read to you. So, um, Okay, so let's see, they include a letter from the founder and how to read and understand crochet charts. So that will be important for me because the only little bit of crochet I have done has been through video instructions. And so I don't have any experience 
reading any crochet charts at all. Um, okay, so let's see. Introducing this month's yarn. We are so proud to introduce you to the yarn of the month, the Woodland Whisper. It's a luxurious blend of 97% merino wool and 3% viscose. Our Hooks and Needles family teamed up with a Portuguese artisan supplier and created the Woodland Whisper yarn exclusively for you. Each 50 gram skein is suitable for US size 8 hook. Crafted with the environment in mind, Woodland Whisper combines the softness and warmth of merino wool with the lightweight versatility of viscose. I'm not sure how much the viscose is really going to have an impact on the merino wool because it's such a small amount of viscose. And so basically you're getting a merino wool with just these little colorful flecks of viscose in it. Um, ba -ba -ba. As you crochet this month's pattern with Woodland Whisper, take a moment to appreciate the artistry and love that lies within every stitch. Okay, and then they include the projects, the patterns for the three projects. So this one, the first one, the cozy bottle holder says crochet level beginner and they have like a, a rating system of five balls of yarn and so they gave this a two. So, all right, I have no crochet experience so hopefully two balls of yarn is not too much for me. So it looks like this project uses just half a skein of the yarn. So there's like detailed pictures showing all of the stitch patterns and how to make everything. And it looks like the final product is going to look something like that. Okay, and then we have, all right, so the second project, the Urban Crossbody Bag gets three yarns, balls out of five for difficulty. So this would be their step up project. And I just wanna see what the finished bag pattern looks like. Oh, that's pretty cute. Okay, so that's actually really, really adorable. That little crossbody bag there. So far that's the project that I'm leaning towards. And then the advanced project gets four out of five yarn balls. And this is for our boho makeup pouch. And Let's see, the makeup pouch, the final look of the makeup pouch is like that. So I'm thinking, I don't know, I don't know how many projects you can get with the three, bar with the three balls of yarn. I wonder if they give you enough to make all three projects. The water bottle, it said it just needed half a skein, so I just want to see. Um, for the Urban Crossbody Bag, you need two skeins. And then the Makeup Pouch, probably you need also two skeins. So I would have to choose, I could choose two out of the three projects to use that yarn for. Um, and let's see if there's anything else in the book. I don't think so. Oh, they include a little recipe of the month. So the recipe is for cinnamon cookies. And then it has a little page about why crocheting will make you calm. So hopefully it'll make me calm. I don't know what I'm doing with crochet, so knitting makes me calm. So let's dive into the knitting box next. Okay, so the knitting box looks exactly the same. So I'm just cutting open this label here. So, first impressions of the knitting box. We have, basically looks pretty much the same. Take that out. What colors do we get? Ooh, okay. Well, that's a beautiful color. I like pink, so it's good. Teal and pink, I like teal and I like pink. So, so far with colors, we are doing really well. So, this is called Sunset Hues, and it is 50% organic cotton, 50% organic wool. It is 136 yards and 50 gram skein. So this is what it looks like. It's really beautiful. 
basically it's like a two-tone yarn so might have kind of a marled look to it so that's really beautiful again I have three balls of that yarn they have included double pointed needles that's adventurous for a beginner knitter mm, I am NOT a beginner knitter I am quite advanced at knitting so this is no problem for me but I'm just wondering like if this were your first knitting box if this would be very frightening I know that when I started knitting, it was not on double pointed needles that just, it seems like a lot of needles to manage for a very first project. So I don't, you know, I don't know about that. I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that to some people, maybe that's intimidating or I don't know if I, maybe I don't have like the first knitting box because they know that I am an advanced knitter already. So I'm actually not sure about that um let's see oh these are adorable so these are some little stitch markers and I don't know if you can see but there's some hearts in the middle very beautiful they're wooden what is this I have a little pouch I don't ah have any idea what this is I'm thinking the project is gonna tell me what this is this is some kind of all right there is some kind of clasp situation going on here so maybe there's another bag or something and then there's what looks like eyes eyes so maybe there's a stuffed animal project in here this month um, and this definitely looks like some kind of vacuum sealed bag of stuffing. So it's very flat, but it's definitely vacuum sealed. So yeah, so the yarn is super beautiful. Again, it's organic wool and organic cotton. So 100% natural fibers. And again, the color is just gorgeous. Uh, it does not say where this one was made in on the yarn. So let's have a look at the pattern booklet. So this is the knitting booklet. And again, the cover is just some image that they use for the magazine and is not uh, representative of what is actually included in the box. So let's see, it says your cozy corner for knitting inspiration. Greetings, knitting family. Welcome back to your next hooks and needles box. Okay, so that already answers my question about the double pointed needles. So this is not your first knitting box, but they sent this one to me because they knew I had already advanced skills in knitting. Okay, so then it says we're thrilled to create, to continue this creative journey with you. No matter where you stand in your knitting journey, we have something special to spark your passion and enhance your skills this month. And what's best? You can choose from three projects. A beginner-friendly option for those just starting, an intermediate challenge for crafters looking to expand their skills, and an advanced project for seasoned knitters. But first, what is inside your second hooks and needles box? Okay, so this is box number two. That's important to know, I think. So, all right, don't be too intimidated by the double pointed needles. If you got the first box, you've already built up some kinds of knitting skills, but double pointed is a little bit ambitious, I think, still. Um, yeah, so Sunset Hughes yarn, 50% organic wool, 50% organic cotton, double pointed needles. Materials needed for your projects. Fiber fill, safety eyes, and a purse lock. Okay, so it's a purse lock. That's what that mysterious closure thing is. Wooden labels. And, oh, those are labels, not stitch markers. I guess you could probably use them as stitch markers, though. But those little stitch marker things that I sent you, I showed you, were actually labels. So, interesting. Okay. And monthly patterns and their detailed instructions. So this month, we encourage you to delve into the art of knitting with double-pointed needles. 
This method unlocks an exciting realm of creative possibilities. Whether you're just starting or looking to expand your knitting horizons, we're here to guide you every step of the way. Gather your supplies and let's embark on this wonderful knitting journey together. All right, so let's see what the projects are. Oh, well, this is cool. Okay, so on the next page, it gives you some information about the color theory wheel. So that's kind of interesting. Um, introducing this month's yarn, Sunset Hues. Let me get that one more time. So hold up this side. It's a very beautiful pink. Snuggle up with Sunset Hues, our cozy blend of 50% organic wool and 50% organic cotton. This time, our Portuguese artisan partner drew inspiration from the breathtaking palette of the evening horizon. Each 50 gram is skein is suitable for US size six needle and gives you 136 yards of yarn. Ready to stitch magic with sunset hues? Let's get knitting. Okay, so let's see what the projects are. Ooh, a soothing sleeping mask. So this one uses one skein of the yarn. It has a difficulty of two yarn balls out of five. Um, it gives you all like casting on instructions and detailed um, written instructions combined with pictures and the written pattern there. And I'm just trying to get to the picture of the final project here. So this is the final look of the project. It looks like you're going to use a bit of fiber fill for that. Felix, I'm recording a video. My bunnies. Felix, okay, my bunny decided to be noisy all of a sudden, so put him away. Okay, so project number two, a cozy octopus toy, and this has a three yarn balls out of five difficulty. I can already tell you that I am more interested in the octopus toy. And then a sleeping mask, because I'm not, I'm just not gonna use a sleeping mask. So that's really, really cute. I love knitting little stuffies, and I can tell you that once I knit this up, my son will absolutely steal it from me. So how many yarn balls does that one use? Oh, that also only uses one. So, and then there is, actually I could probably make all three of these projects, so maybe I'll do that. The project number three also uses just one ball of the yarn, um, and that is for a chic purse. And this has a difficulty of four out of five yarn balls. And, uh, okay, it looks like that opened up. So I don't think it shows what it looks like, I guess up here. You can see like what that clasp will look like, sort of. And then the recipe of the month is for hot chocolate. So, so what I think, what I'm gathering is that unlike other subscriptions where everybody gets the same box for whatever particular month, what I think happens with these boxes is that you're starting out Everybody starts out with the same box, no matter what time of year you sign up. And then you're supposed to, I think, build your skills from there. So like some of the other subscriptions that I've done, everybody will get like for the month of July will be like a, the same box. And so I don't think that that's what's happening with this subscription box. What I think is that they're starting you from a, an assumption of having little to no experience on the craft, whether it's crochet or knitting, and then each uh, successive box, it seems, is supposed to build your skills from there. And so I think that it doesn't matter what time of the year you sign up, the order of the boxes that you receive seems like it's always going to be the same, um, like in the same order. So hopefully this gives you a bit of an insider look into what is included with the Hooks and Needles subscription boxes for both crochet and for knitting. Again, I have a discount code for 20% off 
your first box in the subscription. So you can use the code stop, drop, and knit 20 to receive 20% off your first box. So let me know what you think. Is this a subscription box you might want to try? Leave me a comment below. I am definitely going to work up some of the projects in these kits so that I can tell you a little bit more about how the patterns are written and how the instructions that they give you with the pictures and the written words, how those translate. That's kind of the next thing that I am interested to learn. So I will be choosing some of these projects to work on and I will be sharing those with you in upcoming videos. Until then, thank you for joining me today and uh, go check out Hooks and Needles. Bye-bye.